Greetings, nerds. Headshot Hacker here, and today I'm going for polyatomic camo on Modern Warfare 2. Okay, what was that? <laughs> yeah, guys, the polyatomic camo grind on Modern Warfare 2 has started and is almost done already. I'm at 29 out of 51, at least at the time of recording this video. But yeah, guys, this is the easiest camo challenge in the game. I actually just think it's hilarious how the gold camo challenges were kind of the hardest because you have to get so much weapon XP and it takes so long. But then when you get to platinum, you know, you're just kind of sitting in the back going for long shots for most of the guns. And then you get to polyatomic and it's so much easier, which is actually kind of nice because you just have to get headshots with basically every gun in the game. I mean, some guns are different, but for the most part in this game, you just have to get headshots. To be honest, it's kind of scary going for just headshots on Modern Warfare 2 because people could easily report you for hacking. They might think that you have unfair aimbot or some kind of mod menu. Possibly a Crotus Maximus. I'm gonna be honest though. It's really not that hard. I've actually just found this to be the easiest camo grind so far. Maybe going for Orion camo will be even easier, but this is actually just not that bad, at least now that we have Tier 1. You guys already know how I feel about Tier 1. I mean, I still want regular hardcore in Call of Duty. I don't care if this has been treating me well, I'm getting a lot of headshots, whatever. I do still want the old school hardcore stuff back in Call of Duty, but Tier 1 has been treating me very nicely, and I do believe that you can easily get most of your headshots done just by playing this. The sole reason for why Tier 1 is good for polyatomic camo is because every single gun is a one-shot headshot shot in this mode because tier one is actually just the realism mode from modern warfare 2019 but there's also 50 health now instead of 30 so people who are going for body shots or just regular kills in call of duty they're gonna have a harder time killing you because you're going for instant one shot kill headshots so if you're doing polyatomic camo right now you need to be playing this but not for every single gun there's actually a number of scenarios where playing tier one would be worse for getting headshots bro what <laughs> um Get a kill feed. But yeah, basically any gun that can get a one-shot headshot in the core, like regular modes, you should use it there. Snipers, shotguns, certain marksman rifles. Get all of those done in core, but then for everything else where you have to like spray. <laughs> nice job, teammate. Get all of those guns done in core, but everything else, take it to tier one. Getting the kills from behind with the riot shield and the knife were really not too bad. I got them done in a few games. The riot shield I somehow got done in literally one game on El Asilo. And the combat knife kills, I think I got them mostly done on Albagra. No, that guy took it. My flank really helps because I just got my right shield into a corner. Oh my god, it's Mike Glamour. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that should do it. You're not done? What? Oh, it's done. Okay, yeah, the knife is done. Anything that's close range and you can flank people easily will work though. The only class of weapons that I'm dreading using for polyatomic camo is the launchers. Thank God you do not have to get headshots with the launchers, but you do need to get quite a number of double kills. So I'm actually just kind of waiting for shipment to come out. Although I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to take. I really hope it doesn't take that much longer. But regardless of when we get shipment, I am just going to be saving the launchers for last no matter what. I know that's going to be the slowest and most painful part of the entire polyatomic camo grinds, but yeah. Hopefully I could just do it on shipment, but if not, I'm going to play other maps. It'll just take more time. Since going for polyatomic camo in this game is so easy. I don't know if I'll do like a full breakdown like I did with platinum camo unless you guys really want it. Simply just playing tier one for most of the guns in this game, I think is a great enough tip, but I can also show you guys what I'm putting on most of my guns. Oh, thank God that one's over. Border can actually be great for getting headshots, but these guys are just like in the weirdest spots. Oh my, look at that whip. And that nay nay. Oh. I'm gonna switch things over to core because I only need two headshots with the Victus, which I think will actually help me skip one of the guns. Yeah, so I only need two headshots with the Victus XMR, which is a DLC gun. And I think that should move us from 29 to 30. If it doesn't, we're about to find out. I mean, it's really not that big of a loss of time because this was kind of easy to get done. How's the pistol going on here? This is the last pistol I need. We're at 10 out of 20. It's not too bad. They came oh God, here we go. Here we go. What is that? It is done, I think. Yep, there we go. And another one. Maybe we can finish this pistol too. Although I think it would be better to use in tier one because of the instant headshot. But, I mean... 
<laughs> Dude froze mid dive. Uh, yeah. What do we What do we do about this? What do we do about this? Huh? Mm. Okay. Failed the takedown on that one. Yeah, uh, oh, I should probably take this thing to tier one. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're gonna do that one in tier one. But yeah, let's see if the Victus XMR counted towards Orion camo, which it did. We went from 29 to 30 out of 51. So yes, you can use the DLC guns to skip having to use certain guns in this game. Is that something that I'm gonna do? I mean, maybe I could just skip the Javelin, but I don't know if I necessarily wanna do that. I mean, I kinda wanna just complete everything, get the camos for every gun. But hey, if you wanna skip certain guns, you absolutely can. Let's check it out with the Polyatomic. It's looking nice. You know, that's the thing with the Polyatomic camo is that the camo gets unlocked so quickly for the guns that building your guns is really nice not that necessary at least for tier one like for most of my guns i actually just put a sight on the gun and it's good to go but for specific guns that are really just not that great in modern warfare 2 you can put full attachments on like the cast off 545 here you can see it on the stats but if we go to the firing range as well i mean yeah it's kind of a laser beam it's, it's pretty accurate we're going back to tier one and we're about to knock out so many headshots also wow this is a full console lobby let's get it i see you bro oh for fuck Oh my, <laughs> do you ever just like play tier one and observe people like, bro, <laughs> this guy thinks it's real life. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I don't care if it's tier one, hardcore, whatever. I always play the same way. Unless it's long shots, then I have to play like a sentinel. It's hilarious to me how people will actually play the game differently if they're in hardcore. Fuck. Yo, I gotta put daddy on, holy sh- One thing I do differently for going for headshots is I just run dead silence instead of like the portable cover and all that. I just don't really feel like it's necessary. Like it's really great for long shots, but I don't really care about it for headshots only. And that's what's so nice about going for polyatomic is that you don't have to camp or sit in the back. You can play however you want to to get your headshots. Oh my God. Dude, all these people who are playing it like it's real life, thank you so much. Your goofy ass play style is making this so easy for me. I love it. Keep playing tier one like it's actually a realism mode. Just give me- <laughs> Give me those free headshots, bro. I'm just gonna tactically crouch around and sit still. Dude, you are the best. You have no idea. Free headshots all day. My head glitch? Fine. All I get to see is your head. I'll blow it off. Look at that. Blah! Nice noise. Thank you. Oh my lord, what? What? What are you doing back here? Oh my god, it's so easy. This is my favorite. It is... Oh, he's not even playing. That's awesome. We good? All right, we don't have the UAV up, so now it's a little bit tougher. I don't know where they're just randomly going to be sitting now. Fuck. There we go. No! Oh! oh! Advanced UAV? Oh, we got the advance. Let's go. Wow, if you thought it was over before. Jesus. I feel like if you get a good enough streak going, getting a nuke could be so easy on this. Nope. <sighs> I got so distracted. What was that death? Dude, I didn't get to use any bit of that advanced UAV. They all spawned out. Literally could not find anyone. This regular UAV about to be more helpful. Holy. Oh my goodness. Another little tip if you don't like spraying for the headshots is you can put your gun into semi-automatic mode. For controllers, it's left D-pad. It's pretty easy. I did that with the M16 because the burst can be pretty inconsistent. So yeah. Another little helpful tip. Right now for this AK, I'm just spraying it. I mean, I don't care. You can tap fire if you want. You can shoot in bursts. As long as you're not just like randomly spraying a bad accuracy build, then yeah. Should be pretty easy. I think the only thing you'll typically lose out to is people who really are going for long shots or if they're already like posted up and you cannot beat them. But the thing that's nice about playing tier one and also original hardcore is that most of it boils down to reaction time. If you have a faster reaction time than people you will beat them especially when going for just headshots because if other people aren't they're not going to kill you as fast the headshots are very important in tier one like if you're not using a typical one-shot kill gun you're not gonna get it ah what the fuck was that hello there god timing holy oh still got it oh it's over. I want to say that I got that entire gun done in one game, which is the main reason I'm saying Polyatomic is so much easier than Platinum, because in some games, yeah, you might be able to get all of your long shots done in one match, but for Polyatomic, you can consistently get every single gun done in one good match. Went 35 to 15. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Got the advanced UAV. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got this thing done. Let's see it. Yep, there you go. Polyatomic in one match. I love it. It is so good. Sweet relief, man. Only 20 guns left. Checking that one off. All we have left is the AK-74U. Let's finish the assault rifles. Why not? This is the build for the 74U. I mean, it's almost identical to the 545. I think I just have a suppressor on instead of a barrel. Do you know what's one thing that we saw before this game was even released that we have not gotten any kind of update on? Camo mixing. What's the deal with that? When they first teased the mastery camos before the game was even out, they showed gold camo and platinum camo being mixed together on the same gun. Same thing with Polyatomic and Orion. Like, what's the deal with that? Is that still happening? Is it going to be coming 
coming later. I don't know about you guys, but I want some communication from Infinity Ward so bad. They could say anything. They could just say, hey, we like Modern Warfare 2. That's better than nothing. Also, one thing that is kind of annoying about Tier 1 is that if you get a headshot, it doesn't give you the headshot noise. Which is definitely kind of confusing at first because you would assume that you would get a headshot noise, but I think it's Infinity Ward's way of trying to deter people from getting camos done in Tier 1. It's the same reason we don't have a kill feed or any kind of, like, notifier of what you're getting done in this mode. It's because they don't want you to actually get certain things done. I don't know exactly why, but it really does feel intentional. Like, I feel like Infinity Ward has actually just basically removed OG Hardcore from Call of Duty to kind of spite us in a way. Like, they don't want us to get camos done. Um, they don't want easy kill feeds happening. They don't want any of that. I don't know why, though. There's no real explanation or good reasoning for why they would do that. Also, I'm pretty sure that was a quad head. Having Tier 1 in Modern Warfare 2 kind of just feels like an acknowledgement. Like, hey, we're going to completely screw over the hardcore community for the most part. But here's something that's kind of like it. Like, yeah, sure, you can play it. But it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be as good. It's going to be this weird different version that is almost like hardcore, but just not quite as good. Not going to have a kill feed. Not going to have long shot medals. Not going to make a headshot noise. This mode was specifically tuned to not make sense. And simply just not be as good as hardcore. Which is such a shame because I really like this game. And I I want it to be better. I want it to be more accessible and to have that better replay value. To give us more options and have the entire community be satisfied. But I'm not the community manager. I'm not a dev. I have no say in any of this. Just another guy screaming at a camera and a microphone, hoping that things get better. They have a chopper. Wait. Oh, I thought that was our VTOL. Wait, what is happening? I thought we were doing good. We're not doing so good. I mean, I'm doing good. Oh, there goes the VTOL. Please don't randomly hit me. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Hostile chopper gunning. They have another chopper gunner. What is going on? They only have 17 kills. What the f- Definitely gonna be shooting this one down. It's going down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang, the chopper can crash and kill you too. I also love that little detail for the VTOL. Like when it goes down, you can actually see the pilot ejecting out of the cockpit. I don't know if you'll see it here. Wait, 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 wait for it. Yep, you can see the guy. There he is. I know from that distance, it really doesn't look like a person, but it is. And it's actually a really cool attention to detail. Moment of truth. Did we actually finish it? We were one off? One, no, two off. Okay. All right. That's the last headshot for sure. Oh, beautiful. Oh my Lord. Quad head feed with this pistol. That'd be hilarious. Can't happen though, because I have no luck. Oh, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to reload. Hey, we won that one too. Nice. Might have finished the Vaznev and I might be done with the pistols. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's see how we did. So the Vaznev is done. I probably got way more than I needed to for that. And yeah, we only have two left for the X13 auto. But that's gonna work for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go for Polyatomic Camo on Modern Warfare 2. The headshot grind has been so easy and I love it. Pretty sure we're gonna be going for Orion Camo in no time. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you wanna see me go for Orion Camo next, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. But last, this is the moment of truth. And they didn't even really have a spotlight on this, but this is one of the best parts of the season one reloaded update. The LA, the LA Thieves, Thieves skit has, has been, been nerfed. <laughs>